What is going on guys? Tonight I am going to be reviewing Alien Covenant. Alien Covenant is the sequel to Prometheus and features a crew aboard the ship Covenant that wants to colonize another planet and when they get to this planet they are in deep doo-doo because there are creatures running amok and an unknown figure that is inhabiting the planet and things start to go awry. Now, like I said, this is the sequel to Prometheus, and I and before today I had only seen Prometheus once. I rewatched it today, and compared to the last time where I thought Prometheus was just a fine movie, I found Prometheus to be very bland, boring, and uneventful. And I was very skeptical about Alien, Alien Covenant going into this press screening. However, I walked out of Alien Covenant very satisfied. This movie is what Prometheus should have been. This movie is more thought-provoking, more interesting, more eventful, and really expands the series' mythos. Is this movie going to break any new ground? Definitely not. However, it is the best installment in the Alien franchise since Aliens. First off, this is a very well-edited film. It is very well shot and well directed. That is Ridley Scott's craft. He knows how to do all that well. It all mixes together very well. There is shaky cam in this movie, but I feel like Ridley Scott can perfect shaky cam where a lot of other directors, if not any, can even perfect that. You can still tell what's going on in, the, in these action scenes and the camera's not going all like this and shit like that. Yeah, I hate that. And guess what? This movie actually has some fucking action! Where the fuck was that in Prometheus? Prometheus, such a snooze fest. These action scenes aren't going to break any new ground. There's nothing crazy new about them. But the thing is, is that watching them, I felt like I was watching the original Alien movie. It gave me that claustrophobic, like, psychological horror type of feel. While also giving me the sense that I was also watching Aliens. And I don't know who the cinematographer was for this movie, but these shots of the landscape were just stunning. They were lush, beautiful, realistic, almost as if you could believe that a planet out in our solar system that produced life would look like this. The best way to describe this movie is that it's alien meets aliens with connections to Prometheus, but discards everything that was so fucking terrible about Prometheus. There's an actual attempt to make an interesting movie here, and for the most part, it succeeds. And I gotta give credit where credit's due. I did not expect a performance like this out of Danny McBride. He's not groundbreaking, it's not Oscar-worthy, but I did not know he had a performance like this in him. I expected him to be kind of the comic relief guy, and he wasn't. That was really, simply just surprising. And I thought he did a really good job in the movie. Nothing against Fastbender. Fastbender's still the best part of the movie. Especially since he's got a dual role in this movie. But Danny McBride, I was just like, whoa. Yeah. And can you believe it? There's actually scenes with the Xenomorph! That's not really a spoiler since the trailer showed that. But he doesn't just pop up at the end for five seconds. He's in a good chunk of the movie. And it's awesome. It's like Ridley Scott listened to the fan complaints about Prometheus and was like, you know what? They're actually right. I'm wrong. I gotta do it. I gotta put the Xenomorph back in. He did, and when shit like that went down, it was bloody, it was gory, and it was awesome. There are definitely flaws with this movie. For instance, the characters are very bland. None of them are that interesting. You can't relate to them. There's no emotional depth to these characters. They're just... A lot of these characters are just expendable. You know they're gonna die. You knew which characters were gonna die from the trailer. And those characters get ganked in the movie. A lot of these characters also make dumb decisions. I, the, but I could live with it in this, or I couldn't live with it in Prometheus. Because in Prometheus, they were scientists. And they're there poking the little thing... And, like, playing with it and thinking it's, like, the best idea in the world. I'm like, you guys are scientists. You are goddamn dumb. No way am I hiring you for my science project. There's a couple of instances like that in this movie. Like, there's a scene where they come across this big, gigantic egg with goo on it. And some guy's like, yeah, I'm just gonna put my hand on it. Like, what are you doing? Are you that stupid? Seriously? Come on. 
And there's another scene where, like, the alien is, like, right there communicating with one of the humans. And the, there's a guy pointing a gun at the alien behind the human. And the human's like, no, I'm communicating with it. He's like, don't shoot. And the dude shoots and it pisses off the alien. Idiot. Like, why? I also found this to be the most predictable movie I have seen this year. Sitting in my seat, I was just like, yeah, this is going to happen. That's going to happen. Yep. This is going to happen. Oh, look, that just happened. And I predicted it. Oh, that happened, too. I said it was going to happen. Uh, yep. Yep, that happened. I knew it. One of the final scenes of the movie, I predicted from a mile away. I was just like, that's going to happen. It's setting up the third one. And it did. I was like, I knew it. I told you people. Nobody listened to me. This movie is visually stunning. It is well directed and has some really good performances from some of its lead actors. It harkens back to the tone and intensity and that feeling that Alien and Aliens gave you. It's a really more an action-oriented movie rather than what Prometheus was. However, these characters are just bland. I, there's no emotional connection to them, and they just do stupid stuff. This is literally a very, very predictable movie, but still very enjoyable, still very interesting. Not as good as Alien or Aliens. Loads better than Prometheus. The other two don't count. Whereas I would give Prometheus like a 6 out of 10, I am going to give Alien Covenant a 7.6 out of 10. So thank you for watching my review for Alien Covenant. If you go and see Alien Covenant next week, drop me a comment in the comment section below. Want to hear what your thoughts about it? You can like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. If you're on YouTube, subscribe at the end of this video and check out some other videos from me as well. I'll see you next time.